and, and that is passed on most importantly to the rest of everyone involved here. It is what we do and hopefully what you expect of us. So thank you. Go ahead, sir. Steve Sheldon, uh, 81 Ninth Street here. Um, I concur with Melissa. Thank you, Melissa, for bringing that up. And Jack brought up the uh, uh, values of his home. Um, concerned about that as well. And also a lady over here was talking about uh, structural damage in her home. Has there been any insurance companies coming to you and saying homeowners insurance will not take care of this, that there might be some other alternatives like an earthquake insurance? We haven't looked at that, but certainly, again, as I indicated at the beginning, we can ask people that as we kind of proceed on and hopefully gather more information. I'd encourage each of you to speak to your homeowners insurance companies, whoever you have out there. We obviously have quite a few in the community, and I'm sure many of you go outside of the community with larger companies to do that. So I encourage you to do that. We can certainly ask our insurance company and kind of ask around to some of our representatives to see what they would suggest and sort of help the public understand what would happen if there is any structural damage. And again, we encourage you that if you do have something that would indicate damage so that we find sort of a more intense area than others, please do call and let us know that. Thank you, though. Sir? Hi, uh, Jacob.